Good day guys. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. So today I'm gonna be doing a review of Toshiba's 22 year old laptop. This is the Toshiba Tecra. It's a 22 year old laptop that I recently acquired and it's still in a pretty decent condition still seems to be working 100% I haven't checked it out too much yet but yeah let me give you some history on this laptop these laptops this particular one was manufactured in 1996 so yeah that's why it's 22 years old and it shipped with a Pentium processor running at 1.33 megahertz uh, 133 megahertz so yeah let's take a closer look at it so first of all let's check out the io on this little laptop so first i'm gonna just unplug the charger for now okay let's check it out so on the back here we've got a vga port a standard COM port. It had infrared, something that we haven't seen on laptops in many years. A keyboard and mouse combo port. The cooling fan right over here. And this is a connection for the docking station. I haven't been able to track down one to get pictures of it or anything yet. But this would have been for some kind of a docking station, I imagine. I'm not sure exactly. Then under this cover, I think, yeah, that's right there. It has a parallel port for like the old printers, the DC in jack. Then we'll be turning to this side. Okay. So on this side, it has the restart switch right over there. The power button. Um, space for Kensington lock. I was actually not aware that it's so old. Kensington lock. I thought it was a newer thing. Okay, let's see the other side. Okay, so on this side it has this kind of like an express card, expansion card, slot space here. Got some card in here. I'm not sure what it is. It's got uh, space for, I believe this is for a telephone line, could be wrong, don't quote me on that. Right over here, it's got a connection for an external floppy drive. I think that's, yeah, that's everything on this side. I like these little covers that it has over everything. So, on the front, uh, okay, let's see. Here it's got some indication lights for hard drive, battery, power and charging. And it's got a CD drive, an optical, normal optical drive. And this cover, I'm not sure how it opens up. But this is for the battery, the battery is under it, here at the front. Yeah, I think that's basically all there is to see on it, in terms of I.O. and all that. Let's check. Okay, and on the bottom there's one other thing here that I'd like to show you. It's got these little feet that kick out like this. It's kind of a cool feature. It's like like on your keyboard, so that when it's standing like this, you can see now. It's got a little bit of a, an edge that side. Like. So that's kind of cool. I guess that's something that didn't catch on. There. Yeah, um, that's basically everything on the outside. There he is. For us to see. I just want to know how do you open up this but There we go. Okay, so that's how you get the battery released. So here is the battery. It's um, 5600 milliamp hour battery. 10.8 volts 
quite a large battery actually for the size of the laptop. A lot of contacts on it also. What is this? Uh, ah, it's a lithium ion battery. Okay, let's put this right back in there. This thing can open up like this, oh, and then you can load the hard drive here, I believe. Yeah, that. Here's the hard drive. Yeah, no, it's in a casing right now, but this is the hard drive for this. That 1.2 gig hard drive. That's massive, isn't it, really? Okay, let's plug that right back in there. This thing is quite nice, you can really use tools mostly. You can do almost anything on this laptop without any tools. I believe the memory will be under this cover here. And yeah, okay, let's get this thing powered on and check out everything on the third. I've even got the original charger for it still, so that's nice. And it still works. Okay, let's plug that in. And then, let's check it out. Power this baby on. Okay, so here we go. System should be starting up now. Okay, there's the hard drive spinning. Memory initializing. Look at that, it's uh, 1996. And it's putting Windows 98. It doesn't have its original Windows on it. It must have been upgraded because it also does have more memory than it originally shipped with. It came with Windows 95. It's got a sticker on it still here. The design for Microsoft Windows 95 sticker. But it has been upgraded to Windows 98. Yeah, it runs the Windows 98 fine, I mean, for, for its age and everything, it's, it's running fine. I guess it was faster on Windows 95. Okay, now this is just um, the antivirus doing a pre-boot scan. Yeah, this is McAfee antivirus. I'm not sure exactly how long this is going to take. It shouldn't take too long. It's just a little pre-boot scan that it does before the system boots up. Kind of nice. Some of the new antiviruses still do it. But it's become a lot more complicated to do it. All of the securities, all the newer types of operating systems. Okay, so, oh yeah, here we go now. Okay, so, getting into Windows now. Uh, it's still gonna take a while to load all of the programs and everything and get to a point where we can use it. You can still hear a hard drive working hard to load everything. And these old machines, I love the sound of that hard drive still as it's loading everything. Yeah, you see, that's the antivirus it has, the McAfee. The old McAfee antivirus. Okay, and we're still waiting for everything. Okay, here we go. Now we've got all of our icons showing up. The still background isn't even yet showing up. So, what have we got here? Let's see. So, we've got our Microsoft PowerPoint, our Internet Explorer, a super old one. Got the Microsoft Word, uh, Excel, that's the network panel, uh, my computer, documents, uh, recycle bin, and so on and so forth. Now, this machine isn't in English, it's in German. So, for the most part, um, even I can't understand it. 
At least I understand a little German, so I can figure out some of the stuff. But still, it's difficult for me here. Okay. System is almost ready. Okay, there comes the difficult background now. Now let's take a look at the system now. First thing that I'm is different on this thing from newer computers is let me show you guys it hasn't got a touchpad still got this little thing here uh, it's only got this little pointer now you see it when I move this pointer it moves around the mouse on the screen you can see that okay then it's got my normal clicking here with these two buttons it's got an interesting kind of keyboard on it it's kind of different from modern laptop keyboards and a little different from desktop keyboards um, I would kind of describe it as similar to a very low profile desktop keyboard this here one uh, instead of like a laptop keyboard uh, what else is there on here that's really uh, up here it's just got a very interesting kind of volume control it's completely analog still like it's a little knob you can turn kind of like thing that's kind of interesting further there's not really anything here to show it's got a little mic in here I believe it looks like I don't know what that's for exactly it's not like you could do video calls with this thing Oh, well, maybe you could do like calls through the internet. But I don't believe you used to do that back then, yet internet wasn't good enough. So, yeah, I don't know what that is. Okay. So. Let's get to software. Let's see what kind of software features this thing has. So. First thing, let's check out its properties on the computer. See, it's all in German. Okay, here you can see it's got Microsoft Windows 98. Um, like that. Got a Pentium processor and 80 gigs of RAM. Now you see this system originally shipped, I believe, with 16 megabytes of RAM, not 80. So yeah, that's a big upgrade that they did. But um, I believe it was necessary to do this upgrade to properly run Windows 98 on it. So they probably did it for that reason. Okay. Now moving on to the computer itself. So. In here we can see our floppy drive, which would be the one that connects externally. Uh, C drive, R drive, which is 1.13 gigabytes. And the optical drive, which can play CDs. That's basically all they can do. For like installing software, I believe, is the main reason they had it on these systems. Let's see what else there is on the system that we can do. Maybe there's some other interesting stuff. I am struggling a little bit with this um, pointer, but to my amazement, it's not worse than um, using some of the newer versions of the same thing. So here's the McAfee antivirus. It's got like ancient Adobe Acrobat. Uh, winds up. There's those stuff. Well, what is there really here? That's there's chess on this system. I believe we could play that, but I don't really think anybody wants to see that. You know, guys, if you want me to play chess on this antique computer and see how I lose against it, uh, let me know in the comments below, and I will do it. 
but right now I'm not gonna waste time on doing that. Let's see, uh, I don't know really where to go on this system, what there is here, that's really cool. Uh, let's go at the top and see the Microsoft programs. Ah, okay, so it has Solitaire and Hearts. It's the only game, it doesn't have Minecraft yet, <laughs> sadly. Let's see. Uh, okay, yeah, no, that's nothing. It's got paint. I've been playing paint. And how long is that gonna take to load? Oh, okay, there we go. So, we can draw a picture here. Maybe I can. Uh, I can draw. Okay, so let's see what else we can do. Also, then, I guess. See, this is all in German. So I don't want to save that. Okay, so yeah, basically. I don't see anything else here that we can really do. So what other Microsoft programs, maybe? So yeah, I don't really see anything else to do. The paint was about the most interesting thing on this system. Um. Yeah, I guess that will be everything then. Let's just shut down the system and then we're done. That's it, it's finished shutting down. Let's close it up. So yeah, that was my review of this Shiba Tecra laptop. It's an interesting little laptop. And what amazes me the most is at this age, this little laptop is still running 100%. Even the battery is still working. Now, I work on laptops and all kinds of computers daily and I see dead laptops almost every day. So having such an old one with a battery that's still working is quite amazing. And this little machine, I think I'm gonna keep it for another few couple of years and see maybe it will one day be worth something. But for right now, I believe it's not worth anything. So, yeah, any of you guys have these machines, they're real value. Okay, guys, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.